Good day YouTube. This is just a bit of a short and sweet comparison video between Manjaro on the left and Ubuntu on the right, so grab your stein of coffee and let's get started. Okay, so starting off we've got Manjaro Linux version 20.x on the left there and Ubuntu 20.10 on the right, both the latest versions there. And if we are to load up a few things, starting off, uh, Manjaro Linux is based on Arc Linux, just so you know there. Then on the right hand side, Ubuntu, which is uh, actually based on Debian there. Now uh, the Manjaro is actually a rolling release, uh, whereas we've got a bit of bit more of a point release for Ubuntu 20.10 there, for instance. If we have a look at the uh, the desktop environments, they are a little bit different. So this is a little bit of an apples to oranges comparison, but these are to the the both default desktop environments for each of the operating systems there. So we've got XFCE on the left hand side there for uh, the Manjaro. There we go, and then on the right hand side we do have the the GNOME desktop environment but it is a very nicely customized version of it that Ubuntu uses or has created a little bit or modified should I say in-house there. Uh, next up if we are to look at the file managers here we are using the Thuna file manager on the left hand side for Manjaro whereas on the right hand side we are using a little bit more of a customized uh, Nautilus or Nemo GNOME files it goes by many names there and they both have their own nice little uh, tones or accents to them based on the color of the operating system itself. Moving a bit further, let's have a look at, say, for instance, uh, the, the kernel. So very, very similar in nature. We've got 5.9 on the left, 5.8 on the right. They are very, very similar there, so nothing to write home about in comparison too much. And then just last but not least, having a look at the, the RAM usage. So Manjaro is using about 540 megabytes of RAM straight off the bat. Nothing else is booted up here. And on the uh, right-hand side, we have Ubuntu, which is running at about 650. So we're looking at a really good 100 megabytes more of RAM for the operating system there. But that's it guys, like I said, bit of a short and sweet video comparison here. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see you guys there in the next one. Cheers.